All right, this is Carlos. Decided to make a live video. Um, I don't know how to gather people. I, actually, maybe I do. Oh, I could add people. All right, I'm too bashful to add people. Just whoever shows up for this video is fine. Um, I uh, recently found out about um, what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia earlier today. So I thought I'd weigh in with my own thoughts. Um, they might be unpopular, but uh, as of right now, I don't think we even know who did the driving. Um, it's presumed that the driver was a right winger because it was into a left wing, a uh, bunch of protests contingent, or um, I shouldn't even say left wing, but the general group of people that were counter protesting the original protest. Um, I think that it's still, and even if they find that the person does say they're a Ku Klux Klan or some related organization that is full of hate and bigotry, that really it could be a third party organization that it's in their interest to see uh, basically poor racists fight um, poor lower class people who don't want racism. Um, it could be in the interest, there are lots of third parties who would benefit from having an actual civil war, having people squabble amongst themselves. So that's just an idea I wanted to put out there. Um, I don't think that it's that common an idea. I actually expected something like this to happen with the uh, millions, the millions women's marching on um, in D.C. back in January, and it didn't happen, but I'm not at all surprised that it happened now. I thought it would happen at some point, and I hold out that it, there's a very good chance that it was actually somebody that wasn't from either protest, but it's in their interest to see it happen. There's also, just from my brief reading, that the police didn't immediately get involved. There was some random militia there that didn't get involved, and I don't know what their deal was, but why didn't they get involved? Um, who really... What is all this fighting about? What do the police really protect? A lot of times it's property, not life. A lot of us know that. We see that. We saw that all the way back in Katrina. I remember police were diverted from saving people's lives to go protect property from looters. So it's, uh, it's systematic, some of that. It's not even necessarily the police. It's the orders that they choose to follow and live by um, of, because of larger institutions. So anyways, uh, how do I protest? I'm not crazy about protests. I've been going to a lot this year. I felt like I wanted to be in solidarity, but for me, a lot of it was to try and build community and actually build the world that will uh, free us from corporate control. Um, and part of that world is uh, building, rebuilding community amongst ourselves and not being involved in things that are too far away. I sort of feel like humans a long time ago didn't even have to know about things that were that far away as, as Virginia right now because we had so much we were involved with right at home. Now we're spread too thin, which makes us easy to be manipulated, easy to be hit hard, um, confused by various situations, not knowing what's really going on. Um, so my way of protesting, and I haven't started it yet, I've done farming in the past, but this is a new place where I'm living now. Um, here, I'm going to switch it around. Is this white garage right here is over 100 years old. It's coming down, and it's between two properties, the property I'm on and the other property. So my way of protesting, um, and it might not seem to really get the adrenaline out, and people are very angry about a lot of things in our world, is once this comes down to set up a full garden here, here, and it would be a community garden open to the people. I'm in freehold and back here. So reclaiming this land and giving this land, and here's actually a little compost, so maybe that's planting the seed. By doing that, by taking the land for ourselves again and growing our food, we're less apt to be controlled by others, whether they're bigots or whether they're the state or whoever it is with food growing comes our real um, freedom and this point has been made by other people in Spanish I believe it's called uh, Tierra y Libertad which means the land and freedom are united they're like they're solid together if you can free yourself from both of those um, if you can have access to land if you cannot be forced into peasantry, which right now we're not forced into peasantry, but in a certain way we're all allow ourselves to be peasants when our food is grown far away and we move our labor to far away places or export our labor and we have that exchange. I don't think it's working. Some people think it's a good system. I think that we need a much more local system where 
we're right on the land, we're human animals, we're meant to be here, where we're not too concerned with things too far away. Um, I'm going to try and focus the rest of my efforts in my local area and at the most in my local state of New Jersey, or if that state changes, then whatever state I move to, possibly New York, possibly North Carolina, but places where I can start growing things, not being part of destruction, but being part of growing things. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Um, I just had to weigh in. I was affected by this stuff, and Facebook allows this outlet. So I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because I'm talking to some of you across the world, but, um, but that's all. So, all right, I'm going to end this now. Thank you for listening.